Hello there and uh, welcome to the show. It's Andy Shed Live Series 6 Episode 7 um, for this, uh, well, fairly nice and uh, sunny uh, September day it's actually been today. But you join me here, as you can see from these uh, telephones on uh, the shelf, in the loft because today... We've uh, got a continuation of something that we started last week. Now, if you were watching the show last week, you will uh, know that one of the things we said last week was about um, 746 telephones um, like these ones here. There's this. Some seven four sixes. Now, they've had the uh, the handset put on them the wrong way around to fool you, because they're just stored away on the shelf there. But of course, the handset should be the other way around on them. Um, but they are normal seven four sixes. They are they are normal um, phones. But what we uh, what we said last week was we were on about reproduction parts and just downright fake parts in certain cases that are being put onto phones um, that should never be on there because they're just not right and I've had quite a lot of response about the uh, about the fake parts and things about the about the parts that are not correct and that and I had quite a discussion on the uh, on the comments for last week's show uh, so if you want to carry that on remember comment below if you're on YouTube or even if you're on library because if you're watching this on library library now has a comment section as well um, but we were talking uh, about um, dial bezels the bit of plastic that goes around the dial on uh, British dial phones and we got to talking about 746s and uh, I don't know quite how it came up but I said that very early ones had the same alphanumeric dial like on a 706 like this one down here that i can show you like on that one you see the alphanumeric dial bezel on there that's a 706 you can tell it's a 706 because of this rounded bit on top here a 746 doesn't have that but you see that alphanumeric dial bezel around there well most people think only 706 has had those but they didn't 746 has had them as well at least early ones did now the 746 came out in uh, 1967 um, the original 706 came out around about 1958 59 ish depending on who you talk to and what your classes when it was launched because there were some prototypes and that originally um, but uh, that lasted for about just under 10 years then 1967 um, the 746 came out to supersede it and the 746 was basically a development of the 706 if you like it it um, it didn't theoretically it didn't need as many parts it could be made a little bit cheaper and it was just as good if not better in terms of reliability and everybody thinks they were just plain cases and that but the truth is that up until the late 1960s, in certain areas of the UK, when you would dial in a number, you actually dialed part of the letters of the exchange you were calling, if you were calling any distance, anything other than a local call. So you dialed like letters, and three, normally three letters that were an exchange code and then your number. Well, that went away in the late 1960s, but obviously they were already designing the 746 then. So, although some people say that had gone away by the time the 746 came out, some early 746s did come out with the dial bezels on. And I've got a couple of them here to show you. So, uh, well, without further ado, let's show you one. So, here's one. This is a 746 with a dial bezel. Okay. 
You see that? Yeah. There it is, and you can see it's the early case that was that went away, sort of 1971, 72 ish. These cases changed to a later, a later type case there, but this has got that dial bezel, and this is actually um, a clear piece of plastic that then has the numbers printed in reverse on the back and then it's painted on the back of that the same colour as the phone so there's no way you can scratch those numbers off there now if you buy repro ones um, they're just plain plastic with the letters and numbers screen printed on the top and you can scratch them off and they're what are available today and what you see on a lot of so-called restored phones today but this is a genuine one. And if we have a look underneath, because I know you're dying to see underneath to see what it is. There's the code for it. 746 Gen, which is the manufacturer, uh, 71. And then what appears to be either a slash 1 or an N there. I think it's a 71 slash 1, um, which... I'm not sure what the slash one means. It probably means it's a, a mark one or something like that. Or could that have been an L for lettered? Because on the 706s, you get a 706 Ls that have the alphanumeric bezel. And seven and later, they were converted to um, 706 F, which were just figure um, dials without the without a marked bezel at all so i think that is 746 gen 71 l on that so that means this was done in 1971 and it was an alphanumeric from the start very rare and the fact it's red makes it very rare and very desirable Okay, now put that one to one side a minute because now it's going to get interesting because here's another one. Okay, but this is a black one. But look, it's got the later case. See the difference in the case there? See the difference between that and that? I don't know if you can see the difference there between those. Can you see the difference? So it's got the later case, but it has got the correct bezel. Let's have a look underneath. Right. It's a 746 Gen 68 slash 1 or L or something there. But there's been a sticker there that's been peeled off. Yeah? And that sticker was a blanking sticker that was on there. And I think I peeled it off that, if I remember right. And that's because this phone has been back to the factory. And has been refurbished. And here it, here it is. Teller. 8746G. Batch sampled, FDR 83 one. So in 1983, this went back to the factory and was reworked. So here's the interesting part. It's a 68 phone that probably should have had alphanumeric bezel. But it's been reworked in the factory in 1983. So you would have thought they'd have got rid of the alphanumeric bezel and... As a 68 phone, it should have had the original type case, not this redesigned case. So, what I think happened here is this phone got a replacement case in 1983. And you would have thought it would have got a clear dial bezel. You know, you would have thought in 83... It would have got a bezel that was plain. 
but why has it not got one? Well, the simple answer to that one is, we don't know. Did they still let these bezels out in 1983? Or has something strange happened here? Has someone tried to restore it and put this bezel back on before I got it? If it has had a new case and that, there's no guarantee if this was reworked in the factory, like it says in 1983, there's no guarantee this was a black phone to start with. It could have been any colour. But it's there now, and it has got that bezel. Now, I don't think that's as it left the factory in 1968. It should definitely, I think, have had the other design of case that's not got this kind of cut out for the, for the handset rest, as you can see from that one. So I personally think this has had a new case on it and I've got no idea how this bezel survived other than to say somebody's put that back at some point because I don't think when they were reworked in the factory in 1983 it would have come back out with that on. But I could be wrong. If anybody knows, then let us know. But there is a black... Uh, 746 from 1968 with that uh, with that dial bezel now if I can get an early shape black case I might fit it because I'm pretty sure that would originally have had an early case so if I can get one I might fit it to that because I really do think that is not as it should be that one right, i'm just knocking everything about here as i'm trying to put that back on the shelf but as you can see there's quite a few telephones on the shelf here and that i mean there's a nice early 746 i mean 706 rather 706 with the with the alphanumerics It, as you can see there, I think it's putting them back with one hand when you're trying to hold a camera with the other hand, it's not easy. And uh, there's one that's lost its alphanumerics over time, the Concord blue one. And that's what they started doing when they started refurbishing them in the late 60s and into the 70s and also in the 80s. That's how they started coming out. That's how the 706s started coming out with that blank bezel. So I would have expected that 746 when it got refurbished to come out with a blank bezel as well. But as I say, I don't know for certain. If you know, please do let me know. So that's the story of the 746s as far as we know it at the moment that you know the, you you got these these red phones um like that and well could be a case of anything really went on i think that one's fairly original that red one that one even though it's a couple of years older I'm not so sure about. So that's what went on with the with the seven four sixes. If you want to see some other red examples, I can show you some. Um, here's a an interesting red row. You've got on the red row here. You've got a seven o six that retained its um its alphanumeric bezel but at some point got a new dial fitted to it with the uh with the numbers and things ignore the black cord that's a uh, that's a red herring i fitted that because i haven't got a red one at the time 
Ne then, then a 706 here as they were refurbished. Don't know if you can see that, if you can get in there. Um, with the blank bezel and uh, the dial as fitted to 746s. Then here we've got an early case 746. And here's a later case, 746. Now, I know what you're saying now. That early case, 746, that's not got the alphanumerics, what date's on the bottom of that? Theoretically, it should be after 1971. All right, let's get it out and have a look. And ta-da! It's 1971. But this is PLU, you see. And what's a 74GF? What's that mean? What is 74GF? But it's PLU 71 one. So that's 1971. But has it been back and been refurbished or altered? Or were some coming out in 71 with these dials? With these um, dial bezels rather. And others without them. And that's what we think was happening. We think some were coming out with these battles and others were coming out without them. Um, so it was a bit of a mix-up in uh, in that early part of the 70s. Right, just bear with me a moment because I've just got to uh, put things down a second. Just one second... So it's really difficult to know what was uh, what was happening, and it's difficult now because there are so many things now that um, have changed over the years. There's so uh, so many of these phones have been messed with over the years, and since they came out of service um, with the post office, a lot of people have. Um, done alterations to them, done bits of restoration themselves, and that. So, so many pieces now have been swapped over. It's really, really difficult to know what is original and what isn't. But I hope that gives you some idea of, uh, of the differences between them. Now, another comment that we've had in this week is about the dial plates, the thing that goes behind the finger wheel. And some people say, what were the chevrons? Well, 706s had originally had blank dial plates. Um, they then got the ones with the coloured chevrons in, either white chevrons or black chevrons, depending on what the base colour of the foam was. Ones like, um, ones like that. You see, that's an ivory phone. Although it looks yellow, it's actually an ivory phone, that. And that has got black um, chevrons in it. Um, but if we look at a green phone, you'll see that's got white uh, chevrons in it. Okay. But there were some other differences... And some people say, I've got a, a silver um, dial plate with black chevrons on it. Or I've got a silver dial plate with like three-dimensional chevrons on it. Well, they were on the clone phones of the um, 706, generally. And I've got a load of those here. They were made by Ericsson and by other people as well. I think most of these ones here are Ericsson's. And you can see these have got those silver plates. The dial basically looks like a 746 dial, but it's got black chevrons in instead of numbers. And it's got a dial bezel that has just got numbers on. Now, if you find a British phone with a dial bezel that's just got numbers on, and they're not always grey ones, there's a black one down there. Oh, you can see that. 
then that means they are um, private clone phones that would have been on a private uh, PBX system. But that's where the silver plates with the black chevrons come in. They were never fitted, at least as far as I know, they were never actually fitted to GPO phones. It was just to the, uh, just to the private ones. Um, so yeah, that that's about it. That uh, I hope I've managed to uh, clear up a little bit about what's what with uh, particularly with the seven four sixes. So the truth is, before up to about nineteen seventy one ish, and it may have got on into seventy two. I don't know for certain, but up to about nineteen seventy one ish, there were definitely. 746Ls and 746Fs that had the figured only dial. Um, so they did both seem to exist up to uh, the early 1970s. But both should have that early shaped case. Lift the handset up and look. If it's not got that little cutout thing, it's an early shaped case. If it has got that little cutout and it's an early phone then the case has been replaced because those cases came along later sort of 72 73 ish i think those cases came along so i hope we've managed to explain a little bit of it to you thanks for watching the show we'll be back same time same place next week with uh, more from andy shed live but in the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, give us a like and give us a, a subscribe. If you're watching us on YouTube, also if you're watching us on Library, give us a subscribe on there as well. And if you're watching on Library, why not tip us a Library credit or two? And um, every little really does help. But please, 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 what we're asking our YouTube viewers at the moment is for watch time. We need to try and keep um 240,000 watch minutes a year we need to hit that figure if we drop below that figure it's going to cause us all kinds of problems so we need to keep 240,000 watch minutes a year okay so that's something like about 20,000 watch minutes per month so if you can watch the videos or leave one of my videos playing on your computer on youtube overnight or something like that we would greatly appreciate it because it all counts towards the watch minutes and we have to hit at least 20, 240,000 watch minutes annually to have any chance of getting this channel re-monetized and if we can get it monetized at some point in the future then um we can basically make more videos more often and I can be around more to answer your questions and stuff. OK, so thanks again for watching. Remember, like and subscribe no matter what platform you're on. And uh, if you want, say hi in the comments and ask any questions you like and I will try and reply to them all, I promise. But until next week, have a great week ahead and uh, happy phone hunting. I'll see you soon.